Hello everyone, this is Lisa for In Brilliance, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about four of my quick keyboard shortcuts that may help you get your display back to normal, especially when you all of a sudden you look at your program and it doesn't look like what you're missing something. So let's pop on into the software and I'm going to show you these tricks that I uh, think you would enjoy uh, learning how to use. First of all, when you are looking at your display, you normally see your hoop. And let's zoom in so that we can actually see our entire hoop. Sometimes it disappears from the screen and we don't know how. This is normally because you've hit a, accidentally hit a key on your keyboard, the letter H, for example, and that will turn your hoop on or off. Now, those of you that may have a cat in your sewing room, I think they have GPS trackers on their paws because sometimes you don't touch the computer, but all of a sudden it looks a little different than when you're working on it before. So don't forget, hit the H key on your keyboard and that will turn your hoop on or off. Now the key right next to it, the letter G for grid, will do the same for your toggle, for your uh, grid toggle. It will turn your grid on or off by simply hitting the G key. Now I keep mine off when I'm doing the videos for the most part because it looks a little crazy on the screen. But the grid is a fantastic tool for helping you line words up and make things look the way that they're supposed to. Another crazy thing that can happen by hitting a key on your keyboard, and I say crazy simply because it changes the whole look of your screen and you are usually like, what happened? What did I do? What's wrong with my program? The letter P, as in needle points, will toggle the needle points on your design. This is very handy when you're working in stitch editing. So those of you that have enthusiasts are used to using needle points on so that you can move your individual stitches. But when you come back in to move and select to move your designs around, sometimes it's a little crazy looking. And it's simply because you have the P on, you hit the P key on your keyboard to turn on or off your needle points. The Last keyboard shortcut I'd like to chat with you about today is the J for jump stitches. When you hit the J key on your keyboard, it puts the dashed lines in your design so that you can actually see where the letters are going to connect with jump stitches at the machine. They are shown in a black dashed line when they cover a, a white area, and they're shown as a white dashed line when they cover a dark object. Each one of these keyboard shortcuts is also listed under your view menu. So when you have a check mark next to draw grid, imagine that it turns your grid on. So always feel comfortable going to your view menu to turn on your grid, your hoop, your stitch points, and showing your jump stitches. And there you have it. We Those are some of the quick keyboard shortcuts that will help you update your display so that you're back up and running as you expected as quickly as possible in your brilliant software. For more videos, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel on our Embrilliance YouTube channel located uh, at the following link. Thanks and have a great day.